So let's start talking about how we multiply matrices. Now, first we're going to look at scalar multiplication. This is when we're going to multiply a matrix by a number. It can be a whole number, it can be a fraction, whatever. But it's multiplying a matrix by a number. So when a matrix is multiplied by a number, every element within the matrix is multiplied by that number. So here's a worked example here. I've got four times by that matrix. Okay, so I've got a times four by each and every element within there. So four times that matrix gives me four times two, four times five, four times six, four times negative one, four times zero, and four times negative three. You can see it's all in those positions, that same position of the element. And then I've just got, so eight, 20, 24, negative four, zero, and negative 12. So let's do some examples. So I've got A being equal to 8, 4, 12, negative 10. That's a 2 by 2 matrix. So 2 times by 8, 4, 12, negative 10 equals. Okay. So 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 4. 8, 2 times 12, 24, and 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. Okay, so this example, I've got half times by A. So that means 1 half times by the matrix A. So that's 8, 4, 12, negative 10. So half times 8. So when you times a number by a fraction, that's the same as saying 8 divided by 2. But yes, yeah, so 1 half times by 8 is the same as 8 divided by 2. But in your calculator, you can write in half times by 8. So half times by 8 is 4. Half times by 4 is 2. Half of 12 is 6, and half of negative 10 is negative 5. So let's look at this one. Negative A. So our ma that's our matrix A. So really what that means is negative 1 times by our matrix A. So I'll write it out like that. So, oops, it's equal to negative 8. What, that's negative 1 times by 8 gives you negative 8. Negative 1 times by 4 is negative 4. Negative 1 times by 12 is negative 12. And negative 1 times by negative 10 gives you positive 10. Now you can always use your calculator to help you out with these calculations. So now we've got 3 times A, so that's 3 times the matrix A. Okay, equals, so 3 times 8, 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Now, don't forget always to have our matrix, our matrices in the square brackets, must be square brackets, um, and making it clear, you know, what column and what row the elements are in. Okay, so let's look at this example where we've got A, and this time it's a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, 
So if we've got 2 times by that matrix of A, I'll do that bracket a little bigger, negative 7, 8, 14, 0, 15, 20. So remembering I've got to times each and every element by that number that's outside the bracket. Okay, so that's 2 times negative 7, which is negative 14. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 14 is 28. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 15 is 30. And 2 times 20 is 40. Okay, so now we've got half times A. So remembering that's the fraction times by that matrix. So negative 7, 8, 14, 0, 15, 20. Now I hope you're noticing that whenever we have a matrix name, we actually use a capital letter. Okay, that's one of those little things we do. And we use it a lot. We sort of name our matrices a lot to sort of save time when it comes to like writing out these sort of algebraic or arithmetic things. So half times that matrix. Okay, so half times negative 7. Now you put it in your calculator, get negative 3 over 2. Half times 8 is 4. Half times 14 is 7. Half times 0 is 0. Half times 15 is well, 15 on 2. Wait a minute. Half of negative 7 isn't. Oh, I'll just clear that up. That's like that, isn't it? And then half of 20 is 10. Now, you could have as a fraction. Sometimes you'll have it as a decimal, but usually if you get given things in a fraction, you give the answer in fractions. So if you've worked it out as a fraction, you've probably written negative 3.5470. That would be 7.5 and 10. But as I say, it's far more usual if you get given fractions in question, you give fractions as answers unless told otherwise. Okay, so here we've got negative A. So as we were saying before, that's the same as saying negative 1 times by our matrix, which is negative 7, 8, 14, 0, 15, 20. So that is negative 1 times by negative 7 is positive 7. Negative 1 times by 8 is negative 8. Negative 1 times by 14 is negative 14. That's 0, negative 15 and negative 20. So here I've got 3 times the matrix A. So 3 times by negative 7, 8, 14, 0, 15, 20. So 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 14 is... 3 times 12 is 36. So that'd be 42, 0, 3 times 15 is 45, and 3 times 20 is 60. All right, so here I have matrix A is this 2 by 2 matrix, and matrix B is that 2 by 2 matrix. Now, as they are of the same order, that means we can add and subtract them. They are of exactly the same order. So here, we're using this notation to represent 
be of arithmetic. So this is 2 times matrix A plus matrix B. So that is 2 times matrix A plus matrix B. Okay, so I'll do the multiplication first because remember our rules of big math still applies. We still do multiplication first. So that's 16, 2 by negative 3, negative 6, 4, 20, plus 6, 10, 1, 5. Okay, now remembering we add those elements that are in the same position. Okay, so when we're doing additional subtraction, we perform that operation, whatever operation it is, on the elements that are in the same position. So here in row 1, column 1, I'm going to have 16 minus 6. So I might write this out for you, 16 minus 6. So, sorry, 16 plus 6. And then in row 1, column 2 is negative 6 plus 10. Then row 2, column 1 is 4 plus 1. Then row 2, column 2 is 20 plus 5. It's a little squishy there, but that's okay. So 16 plus 6 is 22. That's 4, negative 6 plus 10 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 20 plus 5 is 25. Okay, so this is 4 times matrix A, take away matrix B. So 4, 8, let's make this all a bit bigger. 4, 8. Negative 3, 2, 10. Take away matrix B. 5. Okay, so 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 10 is 40. Take away our matrix B. Okay, so that means that's 32 minus 6, negative 12 minus 10, 8 minus 1, and 40 minus 5. So 32 minus 6 is 26, negative 12 take away 10 is negative 22. 8 take away 1 is 7, and 40 take away 5 is 35. Okay, so now we're doing operations, the scalar multiplication on both matrices now. So that's equal to 3 times matrix A, which is let me, 8, 8. Negative 3, 2, 10, plus 2 times matrix B, which is 6, 10, 1, 5. Okay, so first off, I do my multiplication, and then I do my addition. So 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 10 is 30. Okay, so 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 5 is 10. 
Now I do the addition. So 24 plus 12 for row one, column one. Row one, column two is negative nine plus 20. Row one, column one, sorry, row two, column one is six plus two. And row two, column two is six, is 30 plus 10. Okay, so 24 plus 12 is 36. Negative 9 plus 20 is 11. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 30 plus 10 is 40. Okay. So now I've got matrix A take away two locks of matrix B. So matrix A is H, negative 3, 2, 10. Take away two lots of matrix B, which is one, six, ten, one, five. So we'll get eight, negative three, two, ten. Take away two times six, twelve. Two times ten is twenty. Two times 1 is 2, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, I could have decided to times all of these by negative 2 and then just added the matrices, but I think this way is a little bit clearer because we're not dealing then with as many negative numbers. So taking away, so I've got 8, take away 12, negative 3, take away 20, 2, take away 2, and 10, take away 10. Okay, so 8, take away 12 is negative 4. Negative 3, take away 20 is negative 23. 2, take away 2 is 0, and 10, take away 10 is 0.